Welcome to Writing 250 Advanced Composition. My name is Andrew Davis and I'm the instructor for this section. This section is online only. That means we won't meet face to face unless you want to meet with me individually. Our entire course will take place through Blackboard and other digital spaces. This course is not self-paced but is designed to be flexible enough to fit your schedule. I will open up each week Monday morning at 12.01 a.m. This module will guide you through everything you need to know to succeed in this course. Writing 250 is an advanced composition course. You will learn about writing in and about your chosen major or discipline. This class is just as much about the writing process as it is the research process. The idea is that you will learn strategies and methods in this class that will help you write longer papers or create larger research projects in an upper level class for your major. Though this class is designated as a 200 level course for sophomores, the reality is that many people take it when they are seniors. If that's you, you can think about the course more as a reflection on previous research and writing rather than as an exploration. It can serve as a bridge between academic writing and professional writing. Writing 250 assumes a degree of common knowledge. We won't be focusing on the core concepts related to the writing process you should have learned in Writing 101 or 102. Instead, we'll build upon them. For example, we won't take much time to talk about grammar, punctuation, or basic paragraph structure, nor will my feedback to you focus on these things. We are more interested in global concepts related to writing and research. By the end of this course, you should be able to propose, develop, and execute a successful academic research paper that is sophisticated and realistic, and you should be able to apply the skill set you learned from developing it to other real-world writing situations. You will have three primary types of writing tasks in Writing 250. The major assignments for this course are called deliverables. These are large-scale writing projects with many components. They make up the majority of your grade. Each deliverable requires the submission of a first draft and a final revision. You must submit both in order to get credit for the deliverable. Deliverables have a revise and resubmit policy. This means that you may propose a revision plan if you aren't satisfied with your grade. Please see the About the Course folder for more details about this policy. In addition to major writing deliverables, you will have a number of research toolbox posts to be completed in Blackboard journals. These are designed to supplement major deliverables. Finally, you will occasionally have to complete discussion forum posts that require interaction with other students in the course. Writing 250 has five major deliverables. Each one is designed to show competency in the course outcomes and learning objectives. Deliverables are sequenced in a way that makes them build upon one another. Deliverable 1 is the exploratory essay. In this assignment, you will learn about common topics of research in your discipline through an investigation of academic journal articles. The exploratory essay is designed to give you the framework and vocabulary to participate in the research conversation that takes place in your field. Deliverable 2 is an annotated bibliography. By the time you get to this assignment, you will have developed an informal proposal for a large-scale research project. The annotated bibliography is the first step in developing the research proposal. It will teach you how to work with secondary sources. It will also help you to identify gaps in existing research and locate ways into the academic conversation. Deliverable 3 is the literature review. It is based on the sources you will assemble for the annotated bibliography. The literature review is the peak of the course and probably the most challenging assignment. Deliverables 4 and 5 go together. The research study design, also called a prospectus, is a formal research proposal. In the prospectus, you will propose a large-scale original research project based on secondary research from the literature review and your own primary research. Deliverable 5 is the presentation that goes along with the prospectus. You will complete the presentation as a recorded PowerPoint or video. 
Smaller assignments, including your research toolbox posts, are a part of the heavily weighted research toolbox portion of your grade. Other assignments in this category may include discussion forum posts and peer reviews. Smaller assignments are evaluated based on completion. Complete submissions receive 100%, partially completed work receives 50%, and failure to attempt an assignment will receive a zero. The required textbook for this course is The Craft of Research. It is not an expensive book, nor is it very long or difficult. You might find it a bit dull, but if you take the time to read, you'll find that it helps you immensely with the context for this course. Other readings will be located in the Additional Readings folder and linked directly to the week in which they should be completed. Readings will be assigned on a weekly basis. You should plan to complete the reading before you attempt any of the assigned writing tasks. I don't plan to give quizzes, but if it looks like you aren't taking full advantage of the textbook, they may become necessary. Each major deliverable has a peer review component. In addition to the review itself, you'll be required to complete a short reflective component after the fact. Part of being successful in an online class is learning how to develop your own workflow and meet deadlines. Due dates for major deliverables are firm and are already scheduled. See the syllabus or the course calendar for details. Work submitted between 0 and 72 hours late will receive a 25% penalty. Work received more than 72 hours late will not be accepted. On the other hand, I am happy to grant extensions. You must contact me at least 24 hours in advance of a due date to request an extension. In your request, you should lay out a specific plan for completing the task and meeting its objectives in the new time span. Extension requests should be emailed. Though there is no attendance requirement for this course, you should plan to access the Blackboard course every day. However, you must access it at least twice per week. I am always available by email. I will usually reply to messages within 30 minutes before 6 p.m. on a weekday. You may also call my office phone between 8 and 5. My office is located in Lamar Hall, Suite B, Room 22. That's on the third floor. I will hold online office hours through go.olmiss.edu chat. For more details about online office hours, see the About the Course folder.